In this video, we're going to be looking at the herfindahl hirschman Index, HHI, which is a measure of market concentration. First, the definition. The HHI gives a sum of squared market shares for all firms in a given market multiplied by 10,000. Here's the formula. 10,000, we've got a summation operator uh, where I is the ith firm's share of the total industry sales. So here's SI. This is a particular firm's share of the industry sales. And then we're going to square it. The reason for the square it puts increasing weight on larger firms. So let's do several examples. Example one, we have a three firm industry. Firm one has say $500 of sales for the year, firm B $1,500, and firm C $3,000. So the total industry sales are $5,000. Taking this information, let's plug it into our formula. So here's the $10,000. So the first firm has $500 of sales in an industry with total sales of $5,000. We're squaring that. Firm B has $1,500 of sales in an industry with $5,000 uh, of sales in total. We square that, and we do the final thing for the third firm. Uh, doing the math here, uh, firm A accounts for 10% of the industry sales and again we're squaring it. Firm B we see accounts for 30 percent of the industry sales and firm C 60 percent of the industry sales. So after squaring each of the terms in the brackets we get this. Summing up the values in the brackets we'll get 0.46 times 10,000 or 4,600. So the herfindahl hirschman index for this industry is 4,600. Let's do another example, uh, a simpler example. We have one firm in an industry. Uh, this firm has $45 million in sales. The total industry sales then are 45 million. So the herfindahl hirschman index in this example is going to be just simply 10,000. We have one firm that accounts for 100% of the industry sales. So the herfindahl hirschman index again is 10,000. Let's do another example, example three. We have an industry with 20 firms, each with the same market share or level of sales. Therefore, each firm will account for 5% of the total market share. And I just calculated this as one divided by the number of firms, where the number of firms in this example is 20. So setting up our herfindahl hirschman index is going to be 10,000 times the market share of the first firm, 5%, the market share of the second firm, 5%, the market share of the third firm, 5%, all the way up to the market share of the 20th firm, which is 5%. Again, we're squaring all those market shares. And this will just simplify in brackets here. This will just simplify to 20 times 0.05 squared. Okay, we got 20 firms exactly the same with 5% market share, so we can simplify it like that. Doing some math, 0.05 squared is 0 0.0025. Multiplying that by 20, we get this. And we have a herfindahl hirschman index here of 500, a much less concentrated industry compared to example 1 and example 2. And just one more example, uh, example 4. An industry here with 10 firms, each of equal size, same market share. The herfindahl hirschman index in this example would be 1,000. All right, I hope you found this video helpful.